I killed him by poisoning. It's regrettable that the sensation of killing has weakened for me, but that's really nothing but a meaningless feeling of self-satisfaction. I don't kill because I wish for some feeling in response. I did not kill my father as a result of some emotion like anger or resentment, and I certainly did not do it to make myself feel exhilarated. I simply took care of him. Yes, took care. Fitting words. Like doing a household chore. I did what I had to do. There was no need for superfluous emotion. What was crucial was to make sure the act did not create any problems in my life. There was nothing more important to me than the life I was going to lead. The life I was going to lead. Thinking back on it as a being that was not able to live as a human, it's awfully ironic. But regardless, it was for that reason that I poisoned him. Probably due to his constant drinking, my father was feeling ill at the time and had to stay in bed. And I gallantly prepared medicine for my father. I tended to his every need. I just replaced his medicine with poison. That way no one would suspect me. A devoted son. Something rare for that town. In other words, typical for that foolish woman's son. Cared heavily for his father. But despite his efforts, the father died of illness. It would be such a scenario. Of course, I could afford no mistakes in regards to which poison to use. I had to be sure it was a poison that would not be discovered. One that would leave no evidence. It could be done gradually, over a period of months. That way it would be easy to adapt if an unlikely scenario were to occur. So for that reason, I carefully regulated the amount of poison used. Sometimes I would intermingle it with ordinary flour. I had to take my time and kill him gradually. I was in luck. In a nearby city even darker than the one I lived in, a place called Ogre Street, I heard there was a Chinese man that handled questionable oriental medicines. If by using a secret medicine from a country not known to Western medicine, I would be able to kill my father while leaving no evidence and no possibility for future trouble. When I came to that conclusion, I, Dio, was relieved. By simply reaching that, I somehow felt I was saved. To use this phrase, perhaps it is because I am writing it in this notebook. Perhaps it is merely the result of sentimentality. But I felt the sensation that I could go to heaven. Dio, no matter what happens, live nobly and with pride. If you do that, you'll surely be able to go to heaven. It was as though Mother's teachings, the teachings I had long discarded as rubbish, came fully to life. At the time, I even felt that killing my father, poisoning him, was like a good deed done for the sake of going to heaven. It seemed to me that killing father was the most noble, proud act I could achieve. Seemed? No, I was convinced that if I killed father, I would be able to get to heaven. I believed that I would be happy, and my life after that would go well. I was certain I would be able to take back everything that I lost, everything that had been taken from me. Looking back on that now, how very wrong I was. That was nothing from the beginning. The start of the elegant tale of my life. Nothing but the start of that story of which, even now, I cannot see the finish line.